Because of the dust-free environment, the production is termed clean. 10,000 dust particles per cubic foot is only a fraction compared to several millions of particles in the same volume of common environment. The clean rooms are entered through so-called filters, a white coat, shoes or shoe covers, and a cap preventing falling out hair and dead cells from contaminating the environment. Further measures include tape that is changed several times a day and is used whenever the clean rooms are entered. The area is cleaned quite often, isn't it? It is actually being cleaned constantly. It is not allowed to bring in any objects that could contaminate the area. Employees are allowed to drink only still water, and even paper used for printing is special dust-free. Well, there must be order, but dust-free paper? However, dust-free space is not the only monitored factor. FEI microscopes are made in an extremely monitored environment. To be able to make such precise devices, FEI measures and adjusts a lot of other parameters. Noise, vibrations, electromagnetic fields, the air temperature, the temperature of treated cooling water, the airflow, humidity, etc. Wait a minute, is that an entire floor of cooling pipes? Yes, it is. The cooling system of this factory would be sufficient to cool four ice hockey arenas. The air conditioning system can filter more than a million cubic meters per hour. Therefore, no wonder that an entire floor in this building is reserved for it. The material from the warehouse enters FEI productions through here. Not a single speck of dust can get inside. I know. One particle of dust could devalue the entire microscope. Maybe not the entire microscope, but certainly one of the parts. And when you consider that the price of one part is often tens of thousands of dollars, you suddenly realize that the value of the material on the cart in front of you is that of several new cars. I see. Therefore, each part is checked before entering the production, especially to see whether there are any scratches and surface defects. Even a scratch thinner than a human hair can result in a situation where the required vacuum in the microscope cannot be maintained, and the electron beam does not have a free path to the sample. 